my new album is called The Power of Three, and I made that in Copenhagen, Denmark, with Fleming Rasmussen. And I set out to make the, the ultimate album that I never had growing up. So I took influences from all the groups that influenced me when I first got my first guitar, which were a lot of the thrash bands like Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax, Testament. They were all coming out then, and that was something new. That's something that didn't exist before. One key fact in, in music and in life is that less is more. A lot of times you try to do more than you really need to do. Fleming almost did my second album, Pain, Love and Destiny, but our schedules didn't work out. And we did an EP in one day when I had a day off there in Copenhagen. And I gave him all my demos and I said, here's what I'm working on. And he said, what are these heavy songs that you have? And I said, eh, just something, one day I'm going to make a heavy album. And he said, no, this is what you need to be working on. He said, the other stuff is great, but he said, that's, that's what you need to be recording. When it was time for Fleming to record the album, I had complete trust in him. To, he was, it was his job to direct us and tell us what to do at that point. And I'd made a demo of the whole album, so I knew what I wanted it to be, but I still left room for, you know, to have a spontaneous moment there in the studio. It's much easier to just play guitar for someone. Uh, for a Madonna gig, sometimes there's not even any guitar parts in some of the songs. I just have the best seat in the house. Um, a gig like Prong, your, your hands are constantly moving, constantly doing something. 